This CGI simulation was released by Japan's cabinet office. Mount Fuji stands like a postcard, then imagine a loud boom. Clouds of ash and rock billow up. That postcard becomes a disaster movie set. What happens next? Let us walk through it step by step. First, the big bangs and flying rocks. Volcanic bombs the size of men can be hurled from the crater. Roofs get pelted, cars get peppered. People get hurt if they are in the wrong place, that is not a movie stunt. Next the lava, slow moving but merciless. Lava eats houses and roads, it is not fast but it is unstoppable in its path. If you see it heading your way, do not stand and stare, run for higher ground. Then the worst hazard, pyroclastic flows. Imagine a wall of hot gas and rock racing downhill faster than a car on the highway. Temperatures of many hundreds of degrees, nothing that meets it survives. This is the truly deadly part of big eruptions. If eruption happens in winter, the heat melts snow on the slopes, water mixes with ash and rock. A mudslide called a lahar charges down valleys like a cement river. It can reach towns far from the summit, winter eruptions add extra nastiness. And ash, so much ash, fine and sharp. It can turn daylight into dusk. It can clog engines, stop trains, foul water, and choke people who breathe it. Even miles away the city can get covered in gray dust. Tokyo could see centimeter scale ash in a big event. City life would grind to a scary halt. Simulations and expert warnings say, ash can reach Tokyo in hours. That is not folklore. It is wind and physics working together so quick decisions matter. Buildings and roads do not love ash. If roofs collect 30 centimeters or more of ash and then it rains, the weight can crush wooden houses. Wide roof spaces can collapse. Roads become sludgy and impassable. Two-wheel vehicles get stuck with only a few centimeters of wet ash. Logistics and supplies stop fast. Power and trains suffer too. Ash on electrical insulators can cause short circuits and outages. Trains can lose contact with rails, signals malfunction, transit can stall across the region. So what should you do? First keep calm, have a simple kit, water for a few days, masks and goggles if you can find them, a flashlight, a battery radio, or charged phone, and food that does not need cooking, that is the basic survival list. If ash is falling, stay indoors, close windows and doors, seal vents if possible. Turn off the air conditioner intake. Do not drive unless it is an emergency. Cars can stall and block roads. Stay put and wait for official word. If you live near the base of Fuji and you are told to evacuate, follow evacuation orders quickly. Local towns practice evacuation and there are wide area plans. Move to the designated safer zones as directed by authorities. Why worry now? Mount Fuji last had a major event in 1707. The volcano has been quiet for centuries. Geologists say long quiet does not mean safe. Magma can still be below the mountain. That is why experts warn the next eruption could happen with little notice. Governments make maps. They simulate ashfall. They tell citizens to stock up and to know their local plan. But personal preparedness helps a lot when big plans take time to roll out. A quick checklist. Know your escape route. Keep a three-day kit. Seal your home for ash. Avoid driving in ash. Listen to official channels. Help neighbors who may need it, especially elderly friends and family.